the Tennessee Both Volunteers teams have sent their special teams out of the field, and we're ready for the opening kickoff. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. He's scrambling. They'll bring him down at the 25. Catches it, and he's looking for more. Tackle at the 35. Number 56 makes the tackle at the 35-yard line. That'll bring up third and inches. And they'll get him in the backfield. It's a good surge by the defense. They really disrupted the timing on that play and gave them no chance to get the first. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. He's pushed out of bounds to 37-yard line. Tennessee's coaching staff so confident they know they've got a guy that's one of the best running backs in the country and that they can just play their game and not worry about the fact they're on the road. Well, Brett, his big playability not only can give you big chunks of yards on the road, but more importantly, it can quiet this atmosphere and allow the quarterback in this offense to just get him back and he's been able to run and be able to communicate. And I think that's a big challenge for this team. So look for his big playability to maybe even out the atmosphere and give this offense a chance to be able to execute. He steps out around the 41 yard line. That's a deep right, 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 right. That brings up second and nine. They give to the tailback. Pretty good gain on the play by the halfback. This young man ran with some purpose there and picked up six yards. First down. some time brought down at the 18 yard line so they go on the ground and pick up another first down they are stringing together a nice little drive here if they keep this up it'll be hard to keep them out of the end zone first and 10 ball on the 18 Edison Miller, the five touchdown volunteers And he adds the extra point. A seven play, 63 yard drive. And the result, seven points. And so our score, seven nothing. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's gonna be down in the end zone for a touchback. Tennessee's looking right now like they've got all three phases working for them so far, Kirk. Yep, it's early, but they are in control of this game. The defense is, seems to have a very good feel for what they're doing out there. The offense moved the ball down the field. Special teams, everything right now is really in sync for this team. Hands off to the left, and they wrestle him down behind the line. This is two yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. From their own 23-yard line, second down. Ready! He scrambled, runs with it, and he's got room. And he is drilled at the 37. He 
He's at midfield. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. Gets it. He's in space. And he's taken down at about the 29-yard line. He's tackled around the 29-yard line. That makes it second and 10. Let's go! He's, he's, he's. Got a man, but he's tackled back behind the line of scrimmage. That's how we do, D. That's how we do. They don't want to know. Makes this hit up at the 30-yard line. That brings up third and ten. Let's go! And a huge touchdown play. This guy just continues to impress me. Every time I watch this team play, he seems to come up with big plays. That's perfect timing between a quarterback and his wide receiver. He recognized the middle of the field was wide open, and I really thought the quarterback kind of looked the safety off to open that play up to the middle and then made the perfect throw for the touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. So that's a seven-play, 75-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. He gets rid of this one. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. Yard line. Game man, left, man, man. That makes it first and ten. Three, three, three. He chucks it downfield. Keeps his eye on it, makes the catch. And he scores. Touchdown. Kirk, that was a beautiful pass and a nice catch. Well, this is one of those plays you just sit back and admire. The quarterback threw the ball perfectly. And again, the speed of the receiver is the difference in this play. And he hits the PAT. Nice five-play, 75-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Fred, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. So the score now, 14-7. Well, this is turning into a shootout here. Now, remember, the last time we saw this offense out on the field, they answered the bell and scored a touchdown. Can they do that now a second time? You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Seven yards there on the option pitch to the halfback. Fires 
and out. He's out of bounds around the 48-yard line. Wide receiver's role in a play-action pass is to get into position and to hit his spot in timing and rhythm with the quarterback. And that's exactly what they were able to do on this last play. You realize you've got a little bit more time because of the play-action, and it gives you more time to get to that point that the quarterback's looking for you to be at. But make sure you do a good job of selling your route and getting in position to give an open target to the quarterback. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. That's good for a of three yards. That makes it 37. Gets it to his wide receiver, and he's got another one. And down he goes at the 33. That is money in the bank. Sometimes you just can't stop a good combination. Wow, what a first quarter we had. That was an offensive explosion. Tennessee's lead is a touchdown. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. The offense going to try to open this field up, coming out in a five-wide set. And the defense counters with their dime look. Throws a strike over the middle. Tackle made at the 23-yard line. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. And he's tackled right away. Any offense is predicated on being able to move efficiently like this. Big play, and it's first and goal. Super effort by the tailback to pick up a nice gain in a first down. He's really a good-looking ball carrier. Touchdown, Wolfpack. This back has great vision, which allows him to make runs like this one we just saw. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. And he converts the extra point. North Carolina State ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Just amazing, Herbie. We've seen four straight possessions now in which the offenses have scored. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Now he's scrambling. And they make the stop around the 32-yard line. And he just gets rid of it. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Here they come. He's taken off. He's taken down at about the 37-yard line. The defense got a great push and blew that play up well behind the line of scrimmage. From their own 37-yard line, second down. Sacked. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you're definitely going to feel it the next day. Throws it deep. On the reception, look out, nobody there. To the 10. 
They bring him down, but not before he gets a glimpse of the end zone. That makes it first and goal. Touchdown, Vols! He splits the uprights with the extra point. It was a seven-play, 75-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down to the end zone for a touchback. Boy, the two offensive coordinators have to be loving this. In fact, you can look over at our booth next to us and see how much they're enjoying with the big smile on their face. The defensive coordinators, on the other hand, might be looking for a pink slip on Monday. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. And a quick throw. Got some open field. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 35. I like the call here by the defense to bring the heat with the outside linebacker. It was just a better call by the offense, and that's why it's a first down. Makes it out to about the 46. right around the 42-yard line. That might have actually been a situation where he should have kept it. The back didn't have any room to run. From their own 42-yard line, second down. Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback, and they push him out at the 50-yard line. They come out on an empty backfield. He's going to try and scramble. They'll bring him down at about the 41. Deep ball, laying it out there. Almost picked off. Oh my gosh, how did he drop that? The offense has a new life and a new outlook on this game after that dropped interception. From the 41 yard line, it's second down. Fires quickly, he's got the tailback on another catch. That's a deep six on the Third down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Pass right, running back's got it. Tackle at the 30-yard line. Fires quit. Tipped. I'm not sure the quarterback saw him when he was getting ready to pass because he stuck his paw right in the passing lane. That makes it second and ten. It's second and ten. Ball on the 30. Quick strike to the receiver. Brought down at the 18. Gains his way to the 10 yard line. NC State's going to use their first time out of the half here. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. A little toss across the middle. It's a great job here by the quarterback of recognizing the outside linebacker blitz and delivering the football for a first down. And this is the 13th play of this drive. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. The defense was able to get really good penetration and drop him short of the line of scrimmage. They're at the five. Second down. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. 
Right there, it paid off. Will be tied with the extra point. He makes the PAT. North Carolina State to kick. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So now the offense comes back out, hoping for the same success they had on their last drive. As long as this quarterback has time to throw, then you can guarantee that he'll find the open man. Gets it out quickly, and he's taken down around the 38-yard line. They come out in a five-wide set. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 38. Hey, two. Hey, two. Knocked out of bounds at the 49. That's a gain of 11 on the play. First down. Now he's flushed and they got it. Well, this defensive end has tremendous athletic ability. You could see it there on that sack. But also, let's not forget that I think the blitz freed up the DN that time. Maybe a little bit of a miscommunication up front. But nonetheless, his speed was able to close in and get to that quarterback. They're about four yards away here on third down. And he tackles him hard at the 39. Game is six on the ball. First down. No chance. Easy two. Number two will get the reception. Game of six yards. That'll bring up second and three. And he just gets rid of it. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. It's the ninth play of the drive. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. He's tackled at the 27. Tennessee's going to have to use their second time out of the half. First and 10, ball on the 27-yard line. tries to buy some time and down he goes at the 27 yard line they need to do a better job of managing the clock here you're right Fred not only is that a horrible play in terms of yards picked up but also as you mentioned in terms of all the time that may be wasted quick throw and he's got his receiver again tackle made around the 15 yard line that makes it easy easy Ooh, 20 He's on the run, throwing left. Finds his receiver, touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He sends this one deep. 
This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. NC State's offense struggle in that first quarter, but man, they've really come to life here in quarter number two. Well, they've hit their stride here offensively. If they could just have their own defense try to come up with a stop or two, they'd have the lead right now. The quarterback did a really good job in the last drive of finding his receivers in space, and I bet he'll be looking to do the same thing again. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. And he hits him hard at the 35-yard line. Throws it in a hurry. And they make the stop around the 43-yard line. There you go. Good read by the quarterback to give the offense a new set of downs. If the defense wants to line up and man, work that slant route until they stop it. The kick is away. It's long enough. And he missed it left. No good. A tight first half of football, and we head to the break. 28-21, Tennessee. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. That first half was a clinic put on by both offenses. In this era of college football, we've seen more and more creativity on the offensive side, and it was on full display in the first half. Yeah, uh, full arsenal and everything you did, you did well. I mean, it didn't take uh, it didn't take many mistakes. There wasn't many mistakes to be had out there. Both offenses executing at a high level. It pains me to say that. And as a defensive guy, you'd like to see a little bit more resistance. But, you know, the offense was dialed in. The, the coordinators giving the quarterbacks the right plays. The, the quarterbacks, you know, making the right throws. Receivers making great catches. Uh, I don't know where I would put any complaints or where I would complain with this offense because it was dialed in. That's it for us here in the studio. What are you going to do in the second half while the game's going on? Yeah, I'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors. We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Kirk. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Tennessee is up seven. Makes it out to about the 33. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That's a game of five on the play. First down. Gains his way to the 46 yard line. Caught and out of bounds after a short game. That's a gain of four on the play. First down. I got it. I got it. Gains his way to the 36 yard line. First and ten. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. Call it a gain of six yards. That'll make it second. They're about four yards away here on second down. He's at the 20. He gets hit out of bounds at the 15-yard line. And he's hit immediately. Makes the reception. Number 
Tennessee up seven points. Tackled for a loss. More plays like this, and the coaching staff is going to need to change up the blocking scheme. You can't allow the defense to play in your backfield. Here's play number 10 on the drive. hit before he can go anywhere. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. Drop back four yards on that one. Well, that's just a sound play by the defense. They dropped him well short of the line of scrimmage. They'll line it up for the field goal. Tennessee can make this a two-possession game with this field goal. He gets it up, and it splits the uprights. They line up to kick this one away. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Quick out to his receiver. And he's leveled at the 37-yard line. wide. 36, 36. Over the middle to his tailback. He's taken down at the 46. sack him the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass if you can get in there and disrupt the pocket then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers it's third down and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker and he is drilled at the 44. when you're an option quarterback you get used to getting popped pretty quickly he'll bounce right back up They get this one off, and it's a beauty. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. What a great game for this quarterback, showing off a wide-ranging skill set. Well, what's great about this offense is having a quarterback that can hurt you both running and throwing, and we've seen that today. You know, he's one of those quarterbacks that has the ability to hurt you with his arm and his legs, so if protection breaks down, he's got the ability to escape, get upfield, and score touchdowns, as we've seen here today. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. It's on the ground, and the offense picks it up. It's second down, eight to go. Ball on their own 22. That's a great tackle at the 10-yard line. Boy, Brad, that was a big hit on the quarterback. I'm going to be interested to see how he responds from this hit and whether or not he comes after his offensive lineman and challenges them to start playing a little bit better. Excellent punt. Tackle made at the 47. You know they'd like to do something a little more than they did on their last drive when they had to punt the ball away. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. They go with a run, and he brought down in the backfield. Really good job by the big guys up front to use their size and speed and get the runner in the backfield. 
Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on their own 44. They'll bring him down right around the 42-yard line. Boy, did you see how the defense just swarmed in the ball carrier? That was fantastic pursuit. Hey, come on, oh, come on, oh. Hey, check Mike 45, check Mike 45. Here we go. Again with a carry. Good outside run there. So they get five yards there on the halfback draw. It's away and it's a booming punt. Great job by the punter of getting the ball inside the 20 and turning over field position for his defense. A fumble really hurt this team's last drive, so let's see if they can make up for that blunder on this drive. One general rule in any game is to hold on to the ball. If you're in the negative in the turnover department, your chances of winning decrease exponentially. Ouch. Pretty big loss on the play, and I think they might want to reassess the strategy here. Perhaps run a screen, maybe hit the tight end on a short pattern. This D-line is just a bit much to handle at this moment. They line up in the jumbo set. Gets to about the five-yard line. The running back gets two on the carry. And this is still anyone's ball game as we head into the final quarter of play. Tennessee's got a 10-point lead. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. A lot of emotion over there with the coaching staff on the sideline. The defense did their job. And they've got a lot of confidence that their offense can come back and take the lead. Booming kick. So he managed to get a few yards on the run back. Yeah, but I'll tell you, Brad, with so much traffic in the middle there, it really makes it tough to break free. Not a lot of success for this offense on their last trip out. Got some open field. And he's tackled right around the 48-yard line. At about the 39-yard line. Brought down at about the 29-yard line. out to around the 18. Nice run up the middle. exactly what this defense was looking for. Yeah, that fumble gives these guys some added life. Now let's see if they can capitalize off of it. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Steps out of bounds at the 20 yard line. That brings him second and five. Check 82, watch 82, ball's coming 82. 43 is the mic. Check. 
It's the tailback, and they'll get him in the backfield. From their own 17-yard line, third down. Three minutes in the game. but they move the ball forward. Football's not a game won 100 yards at a time. You take what you can get. This offense was infected by the turnover bug their last time out. Let's see if they can hold on to the ball here. You don't change your philosophy after one play. They'll be out doing the same thing as before, just with better awareness. There's a strike complete. Very good tackle in space. He gets to 100 yards receiving with that grab. You gotta love this quarterback receiver combo. Talking to these guys before the game, they told me they spent about an hour after every practice perfecting the routes. It sure shows. And it's almost picked off. That could have been a huge shift in momentum if they were able to hold on to that one. Wow, that was close. From the 43 yard line, second down. Fires out to his wideout. Knocked out of bounds at the 36. It really wasn't badly played by the defense, but sometimes a good throw and catch just beats you. And that one's incomplete. Remember, this is college football. All you need is one foot down to be able to make this catch. This time, the wide receiver is just too close to the boundary, not allowing himself to get either his left or right foot down. And down he goes at the 28. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Tries to thread the needle and it's not going to work. That pick will end this game. First and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. He's tackled around the 39-yard line. It's great when a running attack comes through for the first down like this. It makes an offense so much more versatile. Three, nine. Three, nine. Tackle made at the 39-yard line. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. North Carolina State will take their second time out of the half. Go, four! Go. They'll work the right side, and there's nothing going there. The defense just met the blockers head on and drove them back straight into the run. From their own 37-yard line, it's third down. Incomplete. And that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. And down he goes at the 29-yard line. 
I'm sure the quarterback would love to make amends for that last pick. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. And they make the stop at the 34-yard line. Under a minute left in the game. And he stops the clock with a spike. From their own 34-yard line. Third down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. That'll bring up fourth and five. Hey, pick your game up. He's going to air it long. Finds the junior. He's on the run. Touchdown. Here's the extra point to get within a field goal. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A four-play, 71-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Well, Brad, right now this offense is high, and they also took advantage of some mistakes there by the defense. The score now, 31-28. He's taken down at the 40-yard line. The Volunteers' offensive coaching staff's got to be asking the question, can we do this every week? Well, I think any great offense comes in with a plan, with an ability to run and to throw. And because this defense is so determined to stop the running game, you kind of turn the page in the playbook and you start to throw the ball more. They've recognized that, and they've done a very nice job of executing. From the 42-yard line, it's second down. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. Red two. Red set, go. Favorite play in football of your quarterback. Take a knee. The volunteers, coaching staff, Kirk, do they start wondering, hey, uh, are we going to have trouble with our star player after the struggles he had today? Well, I think the coaching staff's got to be happy that this team was able to win the football game and overcome the fact that their star player didn't have a great game. But I think making adjustments and changing the game plan because their star didn't deliver, I think that would be a big mistake. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Street, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.